yeah, um, shaky starts to both races. Uh, yesterday in the 200, he came off that turn and it looked like he was going to wipe out. And I think the football came in handy there, you know, balancing the line and ended up coming back and winning the heat and making it to the final. So we're really, really excited about that. And then today in the 100, you know, again, a shaky start, didn't get out as well as we wanted to him to. And then he holds on strong to be able to finish and get into the finals, looking like the fourth guy in right now. So he has a chance to come home with two All-American awards tomorrow. Uh, you know, the big thing is the nerves. That, that's going to be the biggest thing. You know, he's in shape to do it right now. You know, everyone else is pretty much doing the same thing as well. It's going to really come down to who's mentally prepared at this point. Yeah, I think it's a really good experience for her again, but those nerves really play into a part. She's only a freshman now, you know, compared to indoor, and there's only 17 women. There's an additional five more women. So I think the nerves kind of play into that big time. So now she has two national championship experiences underneath her belt. So hopefully when she goes into next year, she can carry that experience in. And as far as Devontae, you know, you said he's been here multiple times now. He knows what it takes. He understands the adrenaline, the ups, the downs, the lows of being here at nationals. And I think he's came this year ready to go. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is we want to make sure we at least walk out of here with two All-American awards. You know, obviously, we both want him to win a national championship. I uh, think he's in really good position for that. But, you know, we're happy that he's here. He's going to be ending his senior, his career here at nationals. And you can't ask for anything more than that.